Oregon CDL practice test. Question 1. What can you do at an accident site to help avoid another accident? Leave your vehicle, do nothing, and get to higher ground. Have a drink to calm your nerves. Stay in your vehicle and do nothing until help arrives. Put out warning devices so people don't run into the accident site. Answer Put out warning devices so people don't run into the accident site. Question 2. The minimum tire tread depth for front tires is 1 32nd inch depth 4 32nd inch depth 1 half inch depth 3 eighths inch depth Answer 4 32nd inch depth Question 3 you should place the starter switch key into your pocket while you are performing the pre-trip inspection because Someone could start and move the truck. It could damage the starting mechanism. Someone could steal the truck. All of the above. Answer Someone could start and move the truck. Question 4. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Put on the parking brake whenever necessary. Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the hand valve. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 5. Where should you place your warning devices, if you must stop on a one-way or a divided highway? 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet toward approaching traffic. 100 feet, 200 feet, and 300 feet toward approaching traffic. 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. Answer 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Question 6. You should inspect wheel bearing seals for Tears Twisted axles Broken leaf springs. Leaking. Answer. Leaking. Question 7. What is not one of the four skill areas that operating a commercial vehicle requires? Accelerating. First aid certification. Steering. Safely backing. Answer. First aid certification. Question 8. Before transporting a sealed load, you must check. A small sample of whatever is inside. A picture of whatever is inside. That you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits. All of the above. Answer. That you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits. Question 9. Is it true that as long as the engine is not overheated, it is completely safe to remove the radiator cap? Yes, as long as the radiator isn't damaged. No. Yes, as long as there is no overflow. Yes. Answer. No. 
Question 10. Do empty trucks have the best braking? No. Yes, but only if the truck is newer than 1998. Yes. Yes, but only on wet surfaces. Answer. No. Question 11. How many hours of sleep does the average person need per night, or risk accumulating sleep debt? 8 to 9 hours. 6 to 7 hours. 6 to 8 hours. 7 to 8 hours. Answer. 7 to 8 hours. Question 12. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you Have all your emotionally hard conversations in the first hour of driving. Smoke, eat, and drink during straight portions of the road. If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Only read maps or your phone when there are no cars around you. Answer. If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Question 13. How long will you lose your CDL driving privileges if you are convicted of a second DUI offense in either a CMV or your private vehicle? Life. Five years minimum. One year minimum. 10 years minimum. Answer. Life. Question 14. During your pre-trip test, when examining hoses with the instructor, you need to look for Puddles on the ground The location of the dipstick Phrase in the water pump belt Low windshield washer fluid level Answer Puddles on the ground Question 15. If you are traveling at 55 miles per hour in a 30-foot vehicle, you should leave how many seconds of following distance? 4 seconds 7 seconds 3 seconds 6 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 16. Which of these are you not responsible for it when it comes to your cargo? Making sure that cargo is properly secured. Inspecting the cargo. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Recognizing possible overloads. Answer. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Question 17. How many tie downs are required for a 20 foot load? 4 tie downs. 3 tie downs. 2 tie downs. 1 tie down. Answer 2 tie downs. Question 18. Which of the following can you not use a BC fire extinguisher on? Wood. Grease fire. Electrical fire. Gasoline fire. Answer. Wood. Question 19. What is a common cause of tire fires? Underinflated tires. Overinflated tires. Cold tires. All of the above. 
Answer. Underinflated tires. Question 20. If you double your speed, how much more distance will it take to stop? Three times as much. Five times as much. Twice as much. Four times as much. Answer. Four times as much. Question 21. Why is it important to use a helper when backing? Because you are providing a job for someone else. Because people feel more comfortable when you do. Because you have blind spots. All of the above. Answer. Because you have blind spots. Question 22. How often must you stop to check your cargo while on the road? Every 3 hours or 150 miles. After each break you take while you're driving. Within the first 50 miles. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 23. What constitutes a hazardous materials placard? Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Signs that help tax collectors determine how much to tax a hazardous cargo. Signs on the inside of the vehicle that remind the driver what he is carrying. Signs that warn the public to stay at least 1,000 feet away from the vehicle. Answer Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Question 24. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Use the stopwatch on your phone to try to determine how long before you reach a mile marker after the car in front of you appeared to reach it. Get one fourth closer to the car in front of you, then back off again. Multiply how long this took you by four for following distance. Text a friend and tell them to text you back in 10 seconds and see how long that seemed to take compared to far you traveled. Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Answer Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Question 25. Which of these is not part of the basic method for shifting up? Push in the clutch and shift into higher gear at the same time. Release the clutch. Release the clutch and press the accelerator at the same time. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Answer. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Question 26. Retarders keep you from skidding on the road because They help you control your speed. They give you more control over your brakes. They don't, you skid more easily with retarders. They help reduce your reaction distance. Answer. They don't, you skid more easily with retarders. Question 27. To help you stay alert and safe while driving, you should Drink coffee if you get drowsy. Roll down your windows to get fresh air. Have a whiskey to brace yourself. Avoid medications with warning labels.
Answer. Avoid medications with warning labels. Question 28. Which of the following is the key steering component? Torque rod. Gearbox. Leaf spring. Bearing plate. Answer. Gearbox. Question 29. It has just reached freezing. Which of the following areas is slippery? A bridge. A shaded area. When looking road. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 30. How many seconds does it take for a normal tractor trailer to clear a double track? 14 seconds. More than 15 seconds. More than 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Answer. More than 15 seconds. Question 31. How can you determine if your vehicle is equipped with ABS? Look for wheel speed sensor wires that are coming from the rear of your brakes. Check if your vehicle was manufactured after March 1, 1998, they are required to have the panel light. Check for yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the instrument panel. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 32. Which two special conditions indicate that you should downshift? Starting up a hill and finishing a curve. Starting down a hill and finishing a curve. Starting up a hill and entering a curve. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Answer. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Question 33. What happens when you let the air out of hot tires? It will cool them down. You will be able to continue your journey sooner. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. It has no effect at all. This is a good idea so the extra pressure is relieved. Answer. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Question 34. Which of the following is recommended for safe descent from the Siskiyou Pass? Check your brakes before you begin traveling the downgrade. Watch for snow, black ice, and other dangerous weather October to April. Make sure that your lights are working before starting. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 35. An anti-lock braking system will Shorten your stopping distance. Increase a vehicle's ultimate stopping power. Let you drive faster. Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Answer. Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Question 36. What's the definition of a hazard? Something you can safely ignore. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Something you can easily avoid. Something you must stop for. Answer. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. 
Question 37, what is the gross vehicle weight, GVW? The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. The total weight that includes the vehicle, towed vehicles, and the load. A vehicle's maximum weight rating, specific by its manufacturer. All of the above. Answer. The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. Question 38. Which of the following should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? Avoid eye contact. Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. If you can safely do it, call the police from a cell phone. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 39. Always try to back toward the driver's side because You can see better, watching the vehicle rear out the side window. Your truck will naturally pull toward the driver's side. It's more comfortable for turning your neck. All of the above. Answer. You can see better. Watching the vehicle rear out the side window. Question 40. Which of the following determines the safe speed for going down a steep downgrade? The total weight of the vehicle and cargo. The road conditions. The steepness of the grade. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 41. The most important hand signal you should agree on with a helper is. Stop. Go. Turn up the music. Faster. Answer. Stop. Question 42. Which of the following is not something you should check during a trip? Mirrors. Cargo and cargo covers. Text messages. Tires. Answer. Text messages. Question 43. Total stopping distance is a combination of Reaction distance plus viewing distance plus braking distance Reaction distance plus braking distance Braking distance plus stopping distance Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance Answer Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. Question 44. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Hold the steering wheel firmly. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Be aware that a tire has failed. Stay off the brake pedal. Answer. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Question 45. On what roads, you should reduce your speed by? 60%. One half. One third. One quarter. Answer. One third. Question 46. What will help a drunk sober up? Fresh air. Time. A glass of water. Coffee. Answer. Time. 
Question 47, while driving at night, which beams should you use as often as you can? Emergency flashers. High beams. Novelty lights. Low beams. Answer. High beams. Question 48. Why should you cover cargo? To protect individuals from any spilled cargo. Because many states require it. To protect your cargo from bad weather. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 49. Starting the engine and inspecting the cab involves each of these tasks, except Starting the engine, then listening for unusual noises Starting the engine, then putting the gear shift in neutral Checking the air pressure gauge Checking the transmission controls Answer Starting the engine then putting the gear shift in neutral. Question 50. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? Someone might try to pass you, on your left. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. You might damage your leaf springs. All of the above. Answer. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.